So there I was watching some of Raw Monday night. I know. My bad. But I did nonetheless, because we're less than a month away from WrestleMania. Hoping for something. And then we get the news that the rumors were true that the WWE is going to have a women's battle royal at WrestleMania this year. We just had a battle royal at the Royal Rumble. Same thing for the fellas. Do we need another one at WrestleMania? Eh, I guess if the boys can do it, the gals can too. Pfft, whatever, who cares? Fine. It's a way to get these ladies on the show. Instead of it being something that you actually merit or deserve, we just find a way to shoehorn everybody in. But that's not the big deal here. The big deal to me is the name that was chosen for this battle royal. Excuse the ever-loving shit out of me. But in an era of Me Too and Time's Up and all this other feminazi crap, the WWE was tone deaf enough to decide to name this women's battle royal after of all people the fabulous moolah. The fabulous moolah. The fabulous moolah battle royal. Give me a fucking break. I know WWE is getting a ton of trash about this on social media, and they should, because this is tone deaf and ridiculous, and yet another example of the height of hypocrisy that is WWE. You're going to talk about all this female empowerment and equality for women, and yet you're going to sit there and glorify this bitch, and don't give me that crap you don't speak ill of the dead. Now, if you're a cunt when you're alive, we can talk about the cunt when she's dead. And, and we can't have China in the WWE Hall of Fame. Because we don't want little kids seeing the back door to China. We can't have Luna Vashon in the WWE Hall of Fame for reasons that are still unbeknownst to me. But in this era of increased sensitivity, in this era of increased awareness, political correctness, and sensitivity and awareness to women's issues, we can't have them in the WWE Hall of Fame. But not only can we have Fabulous Moolah, in the WWE Hall of Fame, we can name a battle royal at our biggest show of the year after her. A woman who controlled every aspect of her wrestlers, her female wrestlers, her trainees' lives for years. She'd get them into her school, not actually train them, take a crap ton of their pay up front just for her expense because she was the trainer then sit there and deduct other expenses like travel, like food, and then, oh, by the way, if you trained under her in her school, you also had to live on her property, which means she took out rent as well. So basically, these bitches weren't making shit. So, after she was done fucking them financially, in many cases, she fucked them physically, using her position of power and influence to take advantage of these women. And then to top it all off, here she goes, and there are enough corroborating reports where you can say, well, there's smoke, there's fire, and this is burn, baby, burn. She was pimping out her female wrestlers to promoters to do sleazy photo shoots and to fuck the promoters and fuck the boys so that way they didn't go out on the town and fuck the women in the town and get in trouble. We named a battle royal after this bitch, WWE? How fucking stupid and tone deaf can you possibly be? And again, especially with the heightened social awareness for some of these issues, legitimate and ridiculous, all encapsulated into one. You have to have enough sense, don't you? Don't you? To know the documented history, the allegations against Fabulous Moolah, and know that this was going to bring you potentially a lot of bad publicity on your road to fucking WrestleMania? Think about this. This is how ridiculous the Fabulous Moolah Battle Royal is. Imagine things such as a Pat Patterson Ring Boys Rumble. How ridiculous does that sound? The Superfly Jimmy Snuka dating game. I think I broke her neck, brother. Does that not sound ridiculous? Rock and Roll Buck Zumoff's Father Daughter Dance. Incest is best. Put your family to the test. All others can give it a rest. Or. How about the Ike Turner's Bitch You Die Me I Kill You Women's Shelter where every room comes equipped with a Mike Tyson rape kit and then everybody that lives in the shelter gets to experience the stone cold experience which is, hey, you got two eyes, you got two black eyes, 
bitch, I already done told you twice. Does that not sound ridiculous? Does that not sound like a bad thing? Does that not sound like it belongs in the ridiculous dumb dick don't ever fucking do it category? Of course. Here comes Pat with the French ticklers. 16 is the new 18. I mean, just think about this for a second. You wouldn't do any of those other things that I just pointed out because it would be incredibly tone deaf, reckless, irresponsible, and just flat out stupid. But here come WWE and ding dong dumb dicks. People know about Moolah's history. That shit doesn't escape. You want to sit there and talk about China and the stuff that you can find on the internet. Look at all the stuff you can find Moolah being accused of on the internet. And you don't think people are going to research this? You don't think people know this? You don't think this is going to get out there? If you weren't going to name it for somebody like Mae Young, because you already named a Mae Young classic after her, why not name it after Mildred Burke, a real talent? Why not name it after Penny Banner, who eventually herself got fucked over by Fabulous Moolah because she controlled so many of the women in the business that Penny Banner couldn't get any damn work because Fabulous Moolah controlled everything. She cost the women of WWF a shot at WrestleMania 4 with the women's tag team titles. That's why they don't exist. Look at the original screw job as a spider lady. Like, this is a despicable human being and a terrible woman. A woman. And in a month, you're talking about Women's History Month. International Women's Day and all this other stuff. And during a celebration of women and all the great things that they have contributed to society, the WWE decides to put up on a pedestal one of the most despicable women in the history of the professional wrestling business. Who fucking thinks that this is a good idea? Who signed off on this shit? And ultimately, knowing it was Vince McMahon, who decided to not say anything to him, be a gutless fucking coward, and who decided to allow this to go through? The WWE deserves every bit of shit they get for this. It's well earned and justified and just flat out stupid. A fabulous Moolah Battle Royal. I mean, seriously. Seriously. You wouldn't have a Pat Patterson Ring Boys Rumble. But you're gonna have a fabulous Moolah Battle Royal. Give me a break.